This is Quincy Piddle, and he's a lot less of a loser now. He lives with his best friend, Maria. He's got a fantastic new girlfriend, Ingrid, and he's got a great job. So I uh, dropped off your laundry, but Miss Park said she won't keep taking it if it keeps getting covered in horse hair. Um, I got donuts, donut holes, and glue, just like you asked. They were what could possibly go wrong? Movers, so I got pink. I hope that's okay. Hmm. Franco? He didn't quit. Too bad. I liked her. You don't really seem uh, surprised. Yeah, well, not entirely. I, I had my suspicions. She had that look in her eye last week when we were doing that case with the fake death. Look? Well, what do you mean look? What kind of look did she have? You know, the one that look where, well, maybe 1-800 breakup won't work out in the end. Well, for her, for her. I uh, also bought a 12-pack uh, of your favorite brews and some juice boxes. And I always knew that the relationship termination management game, it would ruffle some feathers. I mean, it, it's Tegan, you know what? I, I thought she was tough. You know, she, she, she's a Spinelli. She's what? I'm Tegan is family. You guys are related? Yeah, yeah, she's my cousin. Honestly, it wasn't clear at all of his season. Yeah, I guess it just didn't come up during the spring. Yeah, I honestly thought you two were gonna have a thing by the end of this. A, a thing? What's wrong with you? That's disgusting. I mean, she, she, she's like my sister. When I was coming out with 1-800 breakup, I mean, she was there. I mean, she was there at the ground floor, and I guess I just always thought that we would just pass it down, you know, but as a team. Well, you can pass it down to your own kids, huh? Yeah. You know, Junior, what? he's 15 years old, lives in Japan, and, uh, well, his mom probably still thinks that I'm dead. What's your story, man? What do you mean, what's my story? Well, what made you take this job? Well, a real fan of not being homeless or hungry. <laughs> you know, my, but just come on, humor me. I mean, what's your story? What's your tale? Well, honestly, I don't really know. I was just stuck in a rut for so long in my life. Lost my job before this one, found your flyer, got an interview, got hired. It was almost as if it were, it was almost as if it were destiny. Hmm. Destiny, huh? Yeah. Destiny. Everything just sort of seemed to work out in the end. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a movie or something. Thank you. I guess you're I guess you're stuck with me. Sometimes I hear this omnipresent voice in my head that sort of just narrates my life. Hi. Hey, I have wife and kids. Good, the twins just started t-balling. Martha's redoing the bathroom tile. Again? You know her. Women be shopping. Baby shopping. Okay, uh, can we just go outside, please? Oh, no, 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 we, we don't have the permits to film outside today. Yeah. Yeah, sucks. When I was eight, I took out all the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms cereal box, blamed it on that dumb dog. 
when I was 22. I sent my professor some pics. I don't know why I did it, it wasn't even erect. When I went to a Mumford and Sons concert, I killed a man for two reasons. Number one, Canadian. Number two, really ugly goatee. This morning, Jay walked, so what? So, what do you think? Noon 30, Quincy. Noon 30. Oh, all right. Yeah. My, uh, I don't have many friends. Oh, yeah? I just want to thank you for hanging out and being there for me. You know, I can call you, uh, Friend, my colleague. Yeah, totally. We're friends. <laughs> you really mean what you said yesterday? Uh, about what? About 1 800 breakup. I, I mean, I love. 1-800-BREAKUP. 1-800-BREAKUP saved my life. Franco, Franco. I owe you my first sport cat. Hmm. A little weird, but I'll accept it with open arms. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna name him Whiskers. Unoriginal, but you name it, I'll take it. But seriously, Danko, I love 1-800-BREAKUP. 1-800-BREAKUP is my family. I'm, I'm gonna die with them. I want to save all the lonely people with all the broken hearts. When Tegan's gone and you're dead and your Japanese love child comes and tries to take it away from me, I won't let them. I will never let them take 1-800-BREAKUP. Yes, totally, yes. That is fantastic. That is excellent! Just looking at you, you you, you are the daughter that I've always wanted! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I think I've made the right decision in handing over my company to you. I'm the owner. Yes. No. Congratulations. You are now the CEO of 1-800-BREAKUP. So it's mine now. And if you think about it, perfect. I mean, it is flawless because I want to travel the world. I need to explore. This is Quincy Piddle, one-time loser, and now the CEO of 1-800-BREAKUP. You like boats? <laughs> what a life. Oh, sorry, we're closed right now. Hey, are you Franco Spinelli? Yeah. Dad? Junior? 